Welcome into the transfer rater. We've got five rumours to go over with Alejandro Moreno, and we've got an interesting list today, uh -huh. Ali. Uh, starting with Antoine Griezmann, the rumour that just keeps doing the rounds is that the buyout clause is going to be executed by Barcelona finally. Ah, is it really? Ah. Well, can I just say he had his opportunity. And when he had his opportunity to go to Barcelona, what did he do? He put out a whole video. It, it was like a movie of why he was staying in Atletico Madrid and his love for Atletico Madrid. The chance was there. And the chance is now gone. And if I'm Barcelona, I'm telling you, know what, Antoine? Get. Mm -mm. So he doesn't go anywhere for you? Well, no. hey, but, hey, the rumor is Griezmann to Barcelona. You didn't say, it doesn't say anywhere there, does it? Does uh, it? No, <laughs> no, it's just... Uh, uh, no, no, no. Ask, ask the question and then I'll answer the question. But it says Griezmann to Barcelona, it's a miss. Gotcha. <laughs> and Herrera to PSG on a free, perhaps. Uh, he may leave Manchester United. Probably, uh, that's w that's what's going to happen. And, and I think Ander Herrera has been an important piece of Solskjaer. So it's in, it's interesting to see as to what decision uh, Manchester United ends up making here. He may leave, but he won't be to PSG. Uh, it's not the sort of player that PSG is going after. Okay, Irving Lozano to Manchester United. This v depends, and it has nothing to do with Erwin Choque Lozano. I think he's an excellent player and a tremendous talent, but I think it does depend on what Manchester United does uh, in terms of searching after a guy like maybe Jaden Sancho, maybe Gareth Bale. Whatever happens, there's a lot of dominoes that have to fall in order for Choque Lozano to become a priority. You already have Marcus Rashford in place, you already have Anthony Martial in place, you already have Lingard in place, and so I don't see the space for Choque Lozano. If you bring in Jaden Sancho, or Gareth Bale, it clearly doesn't make a whole lot of sense for Chucky Lozano to be a priority for Manchester United. So therefore, he may go somewhere, mm -hmm. but not Manchester United. Yeah, looking to claim a second league title with PSV this summer. Hudson Adoy, so he was linked in January because he wasn't getting the starts under Sari. He's obviously starring a little bit more now for England as well. He's got that name recognition, mm -hmm. but there's a transfer ban at Chelsea. So to Bayern Munich, will it happen? Of all those things that you just said, the most important one is that there is a transfer ban pending on Chelsea. And so, if you're Chelsea, you have to be able to keep the talent that you have available right now. The people that you have in that locker room that you think are going to be useful to you. The other thing that is important is that we do not know what the future of Mauricio Sarri is. And so, the guy that is not playing him right now is Mauricio Sarri. But we don't know if Sarri is going to be there at the end of the season or not. And if he's not going to be there next year, then Hudson Odoi stands there and says, you know what? Maybe I'll play. <laughs> and I'm going to play for a good team, and I'm going to play for a good club. And so I think there's an importance here to Chelsea in maintaining their talent in place. And, I, and Callum hudson Nadeau is certainly a talented player. Young player with a whole lot of potential, a whole bright future in front of him. So if you're Chelsea, you'll be dumb to let this guy go. I don't think they're dumb. Continue to let Southgate blood him at the moment. Mm -hmm. Luka Modric to Inter Milan. Of course, it was going to happen last year. Now the owner at Inter is coming out and saying, well, we'll offer him four years in Italy. And plus, you can have two years at my Chinese Super League club after that. So this looks like a pretty good option. Maybe. But this guy was just the Ballon d'Or winner, was he not? Mm -hmm. And yet, when Real Madrid and, and people are talking as to what the changes are going to be for Real Madrid now that Zidane has come back, he's one of the guys that gets brought up as a, as a possibility because of that age, because of the fact that he's 33 turning 34. And... And the feeling has been that he has been tired throughout the quarters of the season, and that's part of what some of the struggles to, uh, of Real Madrid in that midfield that we have seen along with Toni Kroos have been because he has not been able to recover from the World Cup. And if that's the case, then you have to be really concerned about Luka Modric and his future at Real Madrid. If indeed the movement of Zinedine Zidane and Real Madrid into the future is we're going to get younger, then this guy's going to go somewhere. Where he goes, I do not know. He's going to go somewhere but it won't be Inter Milan. Oh, big call. All right, so absolutely nothing coming off. Well, look, I didn't put this list together. Somebody else did. Have a word with those people. This is my opinion. This is what I think is going to happen. Russ, you talk to those people and then bring a list that actually makes sense. I understand. We'll I understand. do that next time. See you then.